Greetings, our topic this month is hormones. Hormones, what a crucially important subject. And we're choosing it this month because it's March. And what do you think of when you think of March? You think of new growth, you think of fertility, you think of fresh green things sprouting. I think of all of God's creation coming back to life. I love spring and so what a great time to talk about hormones. Hormones are important because they drive so many different functions in the human body and of course, Everything we do at Spirit of Health is related to God's design. And if you think about how he designed the body, we have an endocrine system. It's the system of glands that produce these certain hormones to do different functions in the body. And they're so crucially important that everybody's talking about it in health and even in the medical industry. Now because of the world we've created and a lot of the synthetics we've created in the world, we're often using biochemicals and trying to use those uh, to help us to have better healthy hormone function. And that's not ideal. Uh, we believe God created everything perfectly, that he created our glands and organs to produce these hormones naturally, and so the man-made synthetic versions aren't as good. And we're often being fooled into using things such as bioidentical. We're told that they're natural, oftentimes they're not. I'd like to actually do a video on uh, the dangers of hormone replacement therapy, so look for that one. But what we want to do is we want to stimulate the body and help the body align with our Creator, with God, in producing hormones naturally the way God designed it to work in the first place. That's the goal. We don't need things from the medical industry, we don't need chemicals, we don't need these synthetic hormones to have balanced hormones. We just need to align and learn how to use the things that God's given us. So why are hormones so crucial? Now I see a lot of people and I do a lot of consulting and I find that supporting hormones is crucial to somebody's program for health because we need to change our diets, we need to do all these things that can be difficult and if we're tired and we're wiped out and we don't have energy, it's hard to stay motivated and it's hard to keep going. So if your hormones are working, you'll actually have energy, you won't have fatigue and you might not have brain fog and you might feel better. So it really helps, to people, helps people to get uh, through a program by supporting their hormones naturally. So what hormones are produced in the body and why are hormones so important? Well, really they're, I don't want to say they're everything, but they're such an important factor that we can't overlook because let's just think about hormones. We have follicle stimulating hormone. We have luteinizing hormone. Um, if you've heard of prolactin, these are all related to pregnancy and fertility and childbirth and breast milk supply. We have DHEA, which is the joy hormone. We have serotonin, it's a, it's, a, it's a hormone that helps us to be happy and to feel good. And so many people are struggling with things like depression. We have the adrenals that produce adrenaline, cortisol to help us manage the stress response, estrogen, progesterone, testosterone. I mean, we know that these are hormones that make people who they are. It makes a man who a man is and a woman who a woman is. And so often we're, we're taking synthetic hormones, we're often getting surgeries that would remove uh, parts of the body, the ovaries, the uterus, hysterectomies, and it's really affecting how God designed us to be and how God designed us to function. So we need hormones for all of these actions to take place in the body. We have melatonin that the body produces when it's nighttime, when it's dark, so that we can sleep properly. So we could go on and on about all the different hormones in the human body, but they're crucial to uh, help us to live and to be uh, healthy today. So. This month we're excited to talk about hormones, we're going to talk about fertility, we're going to talk a little bit about nutrition, we're going to talk about a lot of topics related to hormone balancing for both men and women. Oftentimes we think of women more often when we think of hormones because there's a lot of issues related to women's cycle and fertility and of course they're the, they're the ones that, uh, that, that give birth, that bring life into this world. So there's a little more complications involved when it comes to women and hormones, but God has all kinds of great solutions, great answers to you having healthy, balanced hormones. And again, what we want to do is not use the man-made versions, but understand how God designed us to, to assist these glands and organs to work naturally and to use herbs and foods and all the amazing things God get, gave us to make that happen.